Hey, our friends, today we're going to draw a cute monster. And we're going to draw a scary monster. Mm -hmm. We're going to draw both. Yeah. We're, we're going to draw a cute monster first, and then it's going to it's gonna magically transform into the scary monster, too. Mm -hmm. You excited? Yes. It's going to be a lot of fun. We hope you get to follow along with us. For this lesson, you need marker or something to draw with mm -hmm. and some paper. paper and something to draw with. Or color it. Color with. <laughs> Good job. You ready to start? Yes. Now we have two sheets of paper because uh, we're using a Sharpie and we want to make sure that our marker doesn't soak through one sheet and get onto the table. Now the first step, we're actually going to fold our paper. This okay. is going to be really cool. We're going to fold it in half. So we're only going to fold one sheet in half. We're going to leave the other sheet down. So It's just going to be a scratch piece of paper to protect our table. So we'll line up the line up the edges like that, and then fold it right down the middle first. Crease. Crease, and then out to the edges. Grease. Crease and grease. <laughs> crease and mm, grease. That's gross. Okay, and then, <laughs> then we're gonna take the bottom edge, so we're gonna open it back up like this, and we're gonna take the bottom edge and fold it to the top, or to that middle, to that middle line. There we go. Like right there? Yeah, and then crease it down. Yeah. It's okay. I'll help you. Line it up first and then right down the middle and then work your way out to the edges. There we go. Crease it down really nice. Now the reason why we're doing this is we're going to draw the cute monster on this part of the paper first and then we're going to open it up and we'll draw the scary part inside. So let's use our markers next. Now we're going to draw our cute little eyes first and we're going to start by drawing two circles. We're going to draw them right. We're going to make sure that it's above this open part. So we make sure that the eyes are up here. We're gonna draw two circles. I'm gonna draw them kind of big. Yeah, perfect. Then we're gonna draw our usual highlight, the little circle inside at the top. This is to make our eyes look shiny. Then we're gonna color in the big circle but leave the little circle white. Now we could draw little nostrils. I'm going to draw two little nostrils in between the eyes, two cute nostrils. <laughs> now let's draw the body for our monster. We're going to draw a big upside down U and we can start. You always draw eyelashes on everything. Rule number one, always add eyelashes. Even on monsters. Yes. <laughs> okay, now we're going to draw the body to our monster. We're going to draw a big upside down U. So if we want, we can start right here and we're going to draw Watch this, we're gonna draw a big upside down U that goes over. Now, I drew it to the little fold in our paper first. There you go, perfect. And then we're gonna extend that U down onto the bottom part on each side. So we're gonna keep it going all the way. So we got this big giant U. There you go, I'm gonna slide this up there and then that's why we have extra paper. Mm -hmm. And then you can draw another line over here on that side. This is the body to our monster. Now let's draw his feet. We're gonna draw a little sideways U that comes out like this and then underneath. And we'll do the same thing over here. Repeat it, but go in the other direction. <laughs> he's gonna look like a gumdrop yeah. monster. <laughs> he's gonna look so cool when he's <laughs> scary. Then we're gonna draw two lines that come up for his legs, and then draw a line to connect those two across. Awesome, we can also add uh, cute little toenails. I'm gonna add three V's for the little toenails on the bottom of our monster's foot. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> now let's give him some horns. I'm gonna draw a big curved letter A. At the top of his head, it's curved Kind of looks like an upside down V too. On each side, one on the other side. It's cute horns, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm gonna add two curved lines for the design on his horns, make them look more like horns. Then let's add a few more spikes. I'm gonna draw little A's on top of his head or her head for mm -hmm. your monster. And I'm gonna draw little A's going down the side too, like this and Maybe even all the way down his body. I'm trying a bow. Oh, you can add a bow too. That would, that would be awesome. <laughs> this is gonna be a scary girl monster. Scary girl monster. 
Now let's draw the mouth. This part's a little tricky. We're gonna draw a, a smile and we're gonna draw him happy so that he looks really cute. So I'm gonna draw the smile that comes across and we're gonna draw the, the top of the smile on the top part of our paper. So it's a little tricky because it, we just want it on the top, but then you can also draw the bottom part of the smile coming underneath the fold. Does that make sense? Yeah. That way he's got a mouth, part of his mouth on top of the crease and part of his mouth below the fold. I'm gonna draw this coming down like that. There we go. On each side, I'm gonna come, come down a little further on each side. Yes, good job. And then I'm also gonna add little cheek lines on each side. And then when you open it, you should see part of the smile up here and part of the smile down here mm -hmm. when you're all done. Let's add one more detail on our, our monster. I'm gonna draw the letter U right here. This is for his belly. So he looks kind of like a snake. He's gonna have it, or a dragon belly. Yeah. And um, then I drew a line at the top of the U. And then you could also add two more lines underneath, inside. Yeah, we did it. We drew our cute little monster. <laughs> now let's open him up, we'll open him all the way up. So, and then we should have this big blank spot right in the middle, in between the top of his head and his body, or her body. Now, the first step we need to do to finish our monster is to connect the outside lines. So we're gonna start up here. We're gonna draw a line that comes down and connects down here to the bottom. So we'll do that over here on the right side too. Connect it. This is a really tall monster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good job. Okay, now let's connect the mouth. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna draw a line that comes down and connects down to the bottom. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. Connect down to the bottom of his mouth down at the bottom. Oh, he's looking awesome. <laughs> Now let's add the scary teeth. This is where our monster's gonna start looking really scary. I'm gonna draw a really tall W right in the middle. That's for his sharp teeth in the middle. And then we can add little teeth. I'm gonna add a smaller W on each side. And then, oh, and it's okay, you don't have any room over here, but I'm gonna add one more big giant tooth on the outside <laughs> of my mouth. You could just add another tooth right there if you want. Okay. Now we're gonna repeat the same steps down here at the bottom, except upside down. We're gonna draw a big, tall M in the middle. And we could draw another little M on each side. And then draw a really big tooth on the very outside. And if we ever go too fast, what can our friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, if you need more time to finish your teeth or to even add extra details, you can even use your imagination and your creativity and add different details. You can pause the video to do that. All right, now, inside, you know what? I think we also need to make him still a little funny. <laughs> Let's add a guy inside of his mouth. I'm gonna draw a big upside down U right here in the middle. Does that look funny? <laughs> Yeah. This is going to be another monster inside of this monster. Looks like a tongue. <laughs> it does look like a tongue. <laughs> now I'm going to draw little eyes and color them in, but leave the little highlight. <laughs> and then we could draw a happy face, or what kind of what kind of mouth should we draw? Um, I'm going to draw this one. <laughs> I'm going to. Uh, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna draw the same kind of mouth. Draw a big, happy face. <laughs> and then I'm gonna draw that tongue too inside. And then you could color in the top part and leave the bottom white so that we could color it pink. <laughs> I like the little arms you added. <laughs> Let's add arms to our big guy, to the big monster. I'm gonna add scary monster arms. So I'm gonna draw a line that comes out like this and then up. And we can draw, so if we draw above the mouth, when we fold it, it's gonna disappear. You see that? If we draw yeah. below his mouth, then you'll be able to see it. So everything we draw up here is gonna be hidden. So I'm gonna draw a little line like that. Then I'm gonna draw another line right next to it. Watch this. I'm gonna draw another line that comes down and then connects in. Yeah, and then let's draw a scary claw. I'm gonna draw it right here. I'm gonna draw a big upside down U. 
And then I'm going to come back around and it's going to look like a big claw, like that. Yeah. Now let's draw another claw right next to it. So I'm going to draw another, a sideways U. And then draw the hook or the claw that goes back. And then you can connect it in or add another little curve like that. Is that funny? Yes. Now we could add the same lines that we did on the horn. Let's do that on the claw. I'm going to draw curved lines like this that come around his fingers to make them look more 3D. Now that we've finished his arm, let's draw his other arm and we're going to repeat the exact same steps but flip it for the other side. So let's start right here. We're going to draw those two lines, one that comes out and then bends up. And then we're going to draw another one right next to it for his arm. So we're going to do these steps a little faster since we already know what we're going to draw. Let's draw the big upside down U for his first claw. And then we'll draw the little hook coming back. Then let's draw the sideways U. And then draw the little hook coming back. And then connect it in with another curve. We did it, Hadley, good job. Now let's add those little lines like we did on the horns to make, it kind of makes him look like he has chicken claws Hang or like up. eagle talons or dragon talons. He looks cool. All the way down. Okay, I think he's missing one last thing. Let's add wings. I'm gonna draw a line that comes out and down. It looks like an upside down V. And we could do that on both sides. Up, down. <laughs> then let's draw a bunch of U's, upside down U's, connected. He's going to look like bat wings. Isn't that cool? A really easy way to draw bat wings. <laughs> oh, that's okay. You did it upside down. Keep going. That's fine. I think it looks cool that way. <laughs> okay, now inside, let's draw a couple lines to make it look like bat wings or dragon wings. And we did it, Hallie. We finished our little monsters. He looks awesome. <laughs> did you have fun? Yes. Okay, now we still need to do one last thing. What is it? Color it. Color him, yeah. This part we're going to fast forward, but at the end, you guys can pause it to match the coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yes. We did. We finished coloring our monsters, and yours looks so awesome, all colored in. <laughs> Do you think it looks better colored in? Yes. Yeah. And I hope you guys at home are gonna take the time, pause the video to match the same coloring, and, or you can use your creativity to color your monsters any way you want. I also added some shading in his mouth, but you can leave that off to keep the lesson a little easier. Mm -hmm. And my favorite is when we close them up, make them look cute. Oh, they look cute. Oh, yours look especially cute with that little bow, and then. <laughs> you can even, they can even talk. Yeah. Now you promised you had fun making your little monster? Yeah. It looks really cool closed up and then open, and you can surprise people because it looks so awesome open. It's a cute, cute and scary monster. <laughs> we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Look, I can even eat your head. Arr. Arr.